Oof. Hey everyone, Adam here. Um, I've decided to introduce the video today because I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you Phoenix, my Arizona blonde tarantula, the Euphonopelma calcodes. So I've decided to uh, jump on the video and introduce it. Um, I'm regretting that decision immediately because my lockdown hair is atrocious and I've seen better hair on drop toast. But hopefully seeing Phoenix, the Arizona Blonde Tarantula, will make up for my face. So let's go over and meet her and see how she is. Uh, she's a bit of a celebrity. She's in the channel intro video and everyone loves her on Instagram. And she's usually pretty pleased to see me. So let's go and say hello. Okay then, let's go and meet Phoenix. You can see her already. Yeah, there she is with her little name tag. So yeah, Phoenix is an Arizona blonde tarantula. Um, as the name suggests, they're native to Arizona and I think the adjacent states in Mexico. She's a new world terrestrial tarantula. Um, I bought her as an adult female. She's uh, about, I guess about five inches leg span at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna open it up so you can have a better look at her. Hello Phoenix, come to say hello for the video have you? Yeah, you're getting your own featured video today Phoenix, so you should feel incredibly proud. So what I'm going to do now is, Phoenix is not going to move around a lot in uh, this video, she's just turned around to say good morning. So I'm going to cut to some older footage that I've got of her. And go through a bit more detail about the species but yep yeah, that's Phoenix morning Phoenix how you doing and hopefully she'll enjoy a video and give me approval to put it out so now we've met Phoenix and I'll give you a bit of background around uh, Phoenix herself and the species now I live in England so a fauna pelma species uh, don't seem to garner much excitement in America where they're native but over here and across Europe, we seem to love them. And after spending six months with this girl, I can see why. She's legitimately the sweetest little tarantula. Her temperament's great. She's got a load of character and she's a lot of fun to watch. And I do love her to bits, despite the fact she looks like uh, the British uh, soap opera EastEnders character, Pat Butcher. She's got this little personality quirk where in the early evening she'll partake in some yoga and you'll often see her doing her nightly enclosure perimeter check like she's uh, Paul Blart Mal Cop or something similar. Um, she occasionally sits in a water dish which is flat out fucking stupid and hilarious. Uh, she looks like a, a lady who lunches or at a spa day or something like that. Now, if you're considering getting one of these, I'd recommend them as a beginner species, definitely, uh, in my personal opinion. As I mentioned, they're a new world species, which as a general rule means more uh, more docile, slower moving tarantula uh, with mild venom. Obviously, you still want to take a bite from one of these just because they're relatively big. But in terms of venom potency, it's not that much. Uh, they can flick urticating hairs as a defense mechanism. I've not experienced this from Phoenix, but it's something to bear in mind and be wary of. Um, it's also worth noting that this is just my personal experience with keeping Phoenix. The majority of people who keep uh, Anaphana Pelma calcodes have a similar experience, but there are always outliers and people do have specimens that are way more skittish or defensive than Phoenix here. Um, initially, yeah, she was quite nervy and twitchy until she got used to her surroundings. She also made me jump and shit my pants when I unboxed her, as you can see here. But she soon calmed down into the sweet little darling we've just met. 
Now I've got her in a 45 centimeter by 30 centimeter enclosure, which initially I thought was slightly big for her, but she's doing absolutely fine in it. So maybe it was her getting used to her space and becoming more confident in it. Um, the size of the enclosure I have her in is definitely not uh, a necessity. She'd do fine in a smaller enclosure. Um, I just like the, the uh, visibility it provides and Phoenix seems to use the space well. Um, she's got about four inches of substrate in there, which is a mix of topsoil, sand and cocoa fibre. I keep her enclosure dry with a water dish and I overflow it every so often. Um, as a rule, they're a dry species. They, they are kept dry, but I see no harm in overfilling the water dish occasionally just to give her the option. She's shown no preference for the moisture. And while this species do sometimes burrow, I haven't seen that from Phoenix. She prefers to hang out in the open or on the court bark doing a yoga and she's always really visible. A uh, word of warning if you're going to get a spiderling, this species grows slower than my subscriber count on YouTube. You could be looking at years before your tiny spiderling resembles a tarantula, so bear that in mind if you're thinking about picking up an Aphonopelma calcode sling as your first tarantula. Um, I definitely recommend a larger specimen to anyone who's getting an Aphonopelma calcodes as their first tarantula as a beginner. To be honest, I'd recommend to anyone, no matter how long you've been in the hobby, there's often a trend for people to ignore the docile uh, New World species when they've been in the hobby a bit. But if you do this, I honestly think you're missing out. Um, they're an amazing species to keep in my experience and the visibility and ease of care is a massive plus point. Um, and while it's super exciting occasionally to see your more hidey tarantulas out and about when they rarely are, there's something to be said for having a tarantula that you can see and enjoy every day. Now, if you've got any questions about Phoenix or the Afana Palma Calcode species in general, or you're considering getting one and you need some advice, feel free to ask me in the comments or come on over and drop me a message on Instagram. Always happy to help, or if I can't help, I'll be able to point you to some resources and information that will help you. And thanks again for watching, and let me know if you enjoyed meeting Phoenix.